This lesson is going to be a super easy blues riff. And then we're going to make it a little bit challenging at the end. But if you just want to play the initial blues thing, this is for you. First thing you're going to want to do is play this E power chord. So your first finger is going to go on the second fret of the A and D strings. And then you're going to play the E, A, and D strings together. And then you're going to, so you're going to play that twice and then stop it with your right hand. And then you have five more of those, I think. going to go to the uh, E string, the big guy, with your two finger, and you're going to let that lay on the uh, A string, and then you're going to play an open D string as well. So these three together, sort of. It's more like just two. just play that once and then you're going to move your first finger back to another bar power chord these are all power chords by the way that was a G power chord and now we're on to an A power chord where you're going to bar the second fret of the D and G strings which is the third biggest and fourth biggest and you're going to play an open A which is the fifth biggest well second biggest sorry So the way this gets played is like this. And you can do that backwards to end it if you want to. In other words, go to the A, and then the G, and then back to the E. Let's take a look at the right hand. For the E power chord, that first one, you're strumming the E, A, and D strings. And the same with the G, the second chord. But the third chord, you're moving over to A, D, and G. So all of that looks like this. That's it. You just loop that over and over again. It's pretty fun. Now, if you want to level up, you can go to what's called the four. So the first part was on the one, and now we're going to the four. So we were starting with an E, and now we're moving on to an A is going to be where we do all that same pattern, just on different strings. So that first chord, you're going to bar the same thing you did for the A and the others, the second fret of the D and G strings. And you're going to play an open A, so these three, and that's going to sound like, and then you're going to move your middle finger over to the third fret of the A string, and you're going to play an open uh, G with it, and but you're going to let this uh, finger lean on top of the D string, so these three. And, uh, together and then the last thing is going to be a D power chord so you're just but you're just going to play the D and um, G strings with your uh, first finger on the second fret of the uh, G string so that part sounds like
first thing. And now for the, the tricky bit. So this is going to require some movement. So we've got a, a B power chord. So this is the five chord. So your first finger is going to go on the second fret of the A string and your ring finger or your pinky finger, whichever one's more comfortable for you, is going to go on the fourth fret of the D string and you're playing these two uh, strings together. And um, then you're going to take that same shape and you're going to slide it up uh, three frets to the um, five and seven. Uh, time and then you're going to slide it up again to seven and nine one time. So that all is going to sound like this. But really you're just going to do that one time so we're not coming back to that home thing. part one time, the second part one time, back to the first part two times, the second part two times, back to the first part two times, and then the third part one, second part one, and the first part two. So it goes one, two, one, one, two, two, one, one, three, two, one, one. And really if we're calling out the actual numbers for the chords, we're going one, four, one, one, four, four, one, one, Five, four, one, one. Here we go. One, two, three, four. subscribe to my channel. I sure would appreciate it.